Hi everybody, welcome to the trading streams here on the World Wide Web. Well, please, please subscribe, click and hit that bell to get the latest video notifications. Whenever you do that, you should be notified. And if you're not getting notified, refresh this channel multiple times a week. I try to keep you in the know. I'm sorry if I haven't been posting here lately. I've been on the TNS show exposing little Nas and little nauseating and his evil, wicked shoes. And I'm not saying wicked is good. I'm saying as evil and demonic as it comes. So again, guys, if you're not subscribed over there, please do so. Um, uh, you know, I also found this photo here. Very interesting here. You see Nas with Joel Osteen. This guy is a viper, a wolf in sheep's clothing. There he is with his wife. All connected. Now let's connect some dots here for everybody real quick. But before I do that, one more story that I've covered on this channel multiple times. Let's see if I can show you here. Of course, the Gorilla Glue Woman, right? Remember her here. Hold on. The Gorilla Glue Woman that I've covered on this channel. Uh, well, she's back in the headlines, headlines, get it, headlines, um, and people are kind of talking bad about her. Gorilla Glue Girl, Tessica Brown confirms now she's pregnant with the six, her sixth child. Yes, you know, the Glue Girl, and again, the surgeon that had a helper, the Hollywood surgeon, all these things. Well, Tessica is now pregnant with her sixth child. She is confirmed on social media. She says, bless the 40-year-old Louisiana woman confirmed on Instagram as she shared it with TMZ and broke this story over the weekend. Brown went on a viral video using Gorilla Glue in her hair after running out of the usual product, finally getting it free from a plastic surgeon. Already has five kids from a previous relationship, TMZ noted. The new arrival will be her first with her fiance Dwight Madison, who also has four kids of his own. Well, you know, she's gluing up a lot of things. Someone, you know, and people are cruel on the internet. Someone said she she used the gorilla glue on the wrong hair, if you know what I mean. And you know, people again are very, very cruel, but hey. You know, I, we got to wish this lady all the best. And there's a lot more stories going on about her. But I won't go there. Now, of course, folks, the cancer or the cancel uh, culture that we're living in. Now they want to uh, cancel SpongeBob or k Warrantine Crab episode. I guess k Warrantine Crab episode about the clam flu pandemic is pulled. And it might... Uh, again, people say it's anti-Asian and, you know, there's hate and uh, where one character breaks into a woman's house and steals her, well, again, this is disgusting, her underwear. And now the episode is no longer available to stream on Praymont Plus and can't be purchased on various digital marketplaces, including Amazon Prime, of course, K. Warrantine Crab was deemed insensitive due to real life stuff. The episode can be interpreted as problematic displaying exclusions. And, you know, here's the story. Uh, I don't know. It's all jacked up. People are saying, I never thought I'll see the day where cancel culture starts getting SpongeBob episodes taken off. They banned two excellent episodes. Storylines concerned. This is where I draw the line. Folks, this is all part of the system. It's garbage anyway, what they're going and stealing underwear. This is perverse and is sick. But this is the, the world we live in. Now, let's get into some political news here, guys. Uh, Biden, now, again, he was the first president. You know, uh, you know, Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe, Creepy Joe, Biden, right? You know, he was the first president to say he was going to, or in a long time anyway, say he was going to give... Uh, you know, put the taxes up, right? You know? And uh, anyway, guys, we are going into, I truly believe, a recession year or, uh, you know, big time inflation, of course, with the uh, stimulus checks and all these things. 
you know, that has to be paid for back, you know, it has to be paid back. Uh, now, Biden now is set to announce a $3 trillion, you know, trillion dollar in tax hike tomorrow. Yeah, it's a heist. <laughs> yeah, it's a hike uh, for, again, uh, tomorrow. President will target businesses. So, okay, you know, it's already, people are already having a hard time finding jobs, you know, the unemployment, all these things. And then you're going to put higher taxes on businesses. And what are you going to do? They're going to leave, you know, all these things. They're not going to hire as many people. This is set by design. A married couple with high earners on more than 400000 So if you're making a lot of money, hey, guys, the social system, you know what I mean? So if you're making big money, well, they're going to come after you and estates to fund you know, and this is all coming in. This is also to fund his climate-friendly infrastructure package, brothers and sisters. Yes, Biden is announces infrastructure plan Wednesday in Pittsburgh. The total price tag has been pegged at uh, between three trillion and four trillion dollars. So people, uh, again, they're going to go after them, the businesses, for the global warming. Oh, oh we're going to get into Greta Thunberg here in a minute. The administration is working on hiking that can make up a $3 trillion package. Biden says families earning less than $400,000 will not get the tax hit. Well, that's good. Uh, but, you know, the businesses and people aren't going to get jobs, so that's going to affect poor people. But whatever. But he is set to target businesses, married couples, and estates. The White House has backtracked on plans to taxi uh, tax drivers by the mile. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, again, guys, they don't want us to drive cars and they, they want to get rid of the gas cars and all these things, right? Uh, again, all part of the system, the UN, the United Nations. This is all part of their agendas. The individual filing jointly could still get hit on tax experts say... A move to take on step up basis to capital gains and investments. Why else said Biden would propose paying for proposals over time? And so anyway, there you go. Uh, all there, all part of the system, guys. Um, you know the corruption continues on and on. Uh, you know they want that money. They want their global. Uh, you know, infrastructures of, you know, uh, you know, multi-trillion dollar packages and green infrastructures and all of these things. Uh, you know, I guess they have to also pay for the chems, the chem trails. You know what I mean? Right. Though, you know, that's not free money either. They're spraying us. Why? You know, they never talk about that. And uh, more of the agenda as we know, Greta, guys, get this. She's a part of the system. I talked about it on the original Truth Never Sleeps. Now the Greta, you know, the Soros and the system, you know, they pushed this young girl. Now they're making her into a statue. Remember, how oh, dare you? <laughs> how dare you ruin my children, childhood, and all these things. Well, now Greta's going to get a life-size 24,000 euro or whatever bronze statue. Greta, that was slammed as a vanity project, is unveiled in Winchester University. It commissioned a life-size sculpture of Greta Thunberg. The teen activist uh, statue has been erected in the new 50 million West Down Center. Again, this is to, to put that propaganda into the new students, right? right? You know, global warming's here, all these things, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, they don't talk about the geoengineering as they talk about and the, the Gwen Towers and all these things, right? Don't, don't pay attention to that. Don't look in the sky to see the trails, right? But we have to pay attention to a young little girl that complained and it's all part of the agenda. Went on Time Magazine, all these things. Well, anyway, the bronze artwork cost the university $23,000. A part of the new development, the new development of the control of the mind. Whoever goes there, they can shake her hand and agree. There it is. The vice chancellor, Professor Joy, said no funds were derivated from the student support or from the staffing. Of course not. There she is, reaching out the hand with her little hoodie. It's downright scary, if you ask me. It's jacked up. 
But anyway, the life size depiction of the 18-year-old Swedish activist and all these things. Many locals uh, reacted angrily to the decision. Some say the tribute to Kev. Uh, again, the local big issue seller would have been more a popular choice. I don't know who this guy is. Supposedly he's big in that town or something. But there it is, the sculpture, the envir uh, environmental campaigner. It makes a difference with the commission. And again, you have the cube here, the Saturnalia, all there, guys. And so again, don't think that this is just done by Kawinky Dinky. It was done on purpose as Joe Biden now is getting trillions of dollars for all these you know, green projects while people, again, are still going hungry. They're going to affect businesses and all these things. Guys, this is the agenda. The creeps keep on creeping, right? Of course, uh, you know, you even got over here. I forgot to show you this here. You had... I've been doing videos on TNS with little nasty, nauseating, uh, with his uh, demonic shoes, right? I forgot to show you Joe Osteen here and his wife. It's all connected. Folks, the agendas are connected. Again, at the end of the day, I truly believe we are going to go in a recession. These people are spending money like crazy. Uh, you know, all these things taking money away from businesses when they can help. And it's all part of their schemes. But hey, if you're, you know, you don't got that much money or whatever. Uh, you know, a lot of people, some people know I'm a gamer or whatever. And I just want to tell people this. You can, you can do whatever you want. I thought, you know, you know, again, we're going to go into recession, start saving your money. But anyway, so, uh, Sony, PlayStation. So if you have a PlayStation 4 I don't know, even I think it's it, it, or five, or I think it's just for four. They're giving away free games, right? Free games. And, you know, many people think, oh, those are from the ill ones or whatever. Well, there's this one game called Abzu, which is really, really cool. I download it, it's free. They're giving away a, a couple games here. Again, download free indie games and PS VR games starting March 25th. So it's been out and get ready for PS Blockbuster. Horizon Zero Dawn will be free for a limited time starting in April. And so this is an independent game. And I, I download it. It's really cool. You're a diver. And you go through the sea. And you see all these different, you know, uh, you know, sea life. Like whales and sharks and all kinds of cool stuff. And it's really cool. And it's, it's a game that you just swim in the ocean and you're trying to get somewhere it's really cool guys uh it, you know really when i was playing it it's just it's, it's just amazing uh god's creatures and stuff like that what he created and you're just swimming really cool if you have a playstation 4 it's free uh you know get it while you can still get it as they say um you know it's only gonna last a couple of weeks uh, I haven't played any of these other games. Enter the Gungeon and Res Infinite. Uh, this one's a Subnautic. I haven't played any of these other ones. If you have a PSVR or whatever, I don't like, you know, those kind of games, some of these games. But anyway, they have a bunch of free games. So there you go. As, uh, you know, they are trying to collapse the system with their uh, agendas, right? So anyway, guys, there you go. Just wanted to give you up a heads up on some of the trending topics, things, and if you want some free games, and there you go. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you do, again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Click and hit the bell. Share these videos out on your social media. I pray you all having a blessed day. Thank you again for watching the trending streams, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.